I'm sharing my latest skincare routine with you this morning that's perfect for the over 50 woman. And in my case, that's over 60. That's coming up next. Welcome back, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. I'm coming to you today with a clean face and in my jammies because we're talking about skincare. And I'm really excited about this next step in my skincare journey because I'm adding a new process that I've had my eye on for quite a while. If you're not familiar with my story, I actually neglected my skin for most of my life. And it wasn't until I came home from two years of full-time travel and I looked in the mirror and I went, oh my gosh, while I'd only been gone for two years, my face looked like it had aged 10 years. At that point, I decided to do a deep dive to see what I could do to really impact my less than cared for over 50, far over 50 skin. I've been really on that journey since then. I've shared so many of the processes here on my YouTube channel and have really enjoyed all of them. I've added really a very full regimen of skincare. I started using a microcurrent device. I started becoming really regular with my Retin-A and using makeup that I think is really appropriate for the over 50 woman. The one thing that I hadn't yet added to my skincare routine that I'd heard a lot about and I thought was something that would be appropriate for me was microneedling. I just hadn't gotten around to it, but it started bubbling up to the surface again and I started thinking I really needed to look into it. Right at that time, Sidara, a microneedling company, reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to try their product. Isn't it wonderful how the universe works that way? You want something really lightly and gently and, and it just whirls around into your lap. So I'm really pleased to be partnering with Sidara on this video today and talking to you about my derma rolling journey. Sidara sent me a beautiful derma roller and it came in this beautiful packaging and you know that I'm not <laughs> that impressed with pretty packaging. I want a product that works and fortunately this is just a beautiful derma roller and I have to give them kudos for their gorgeous packaging as well. So the derma roller itself comes in this beautiful case and most good derma rollers do come in a very nice case and this one is no exception. I've used derma rollers in the past probably close to 15 years ago and I only did it a few times and didn't continue. So I really don't have any experience that I can share to move forward in how the journey went for me back then. I just didn't stick with it. This time I'm committed to really sticking with a good routine and seeing what impact derma rolling can have on my less than perfect, a little bit older skin. This beautiful packaging and you open it up and I'll have to say that this is a beautiful device. Not only does it work really well, and I've used it a couple of times already, but it's very ergonomically designed. It holds beautifully in the hand, it's very light, and I'm really a fan of this product. It takes a lot for me to feel a lot of affection for a product. I do have affection for this product, so they've done a beautiful job. This is a 2.5 millimeter derma roller, and what I've learned in my research on derma rolling is you really wanna go between 2.5 and three millimeters with your derma roller for at home use. I'm going to be starting a very regular routine with this derma roller and I'm going to be checking back in with you in a few weeks just to see if that short amount of time has really made a difference in my skin. Once I received the derma roller from Sidara, I did a deep dive to educate myself on what are the basics of microneedling how do you want to do it at home? What are the safe ways to do it? Just the information that I wanted to know. There is one resource that I really want to refer you to, and that is Pin Smith Skincare here on YouTube. I'm going to link her channel down below, and I find her information to be spot on. It's clear and concise. She's a master esthetician. I'm not sure if that's her exact title, but she is an esthetician with a little bit more credentials than just esthetician and she does a lot of videos on derma rolling and I really like the information that she puts together. So if you're interested in derma rolling I can really recommend her channel to give you a deep dive into the ins and outs and do's and don'ts of derma rolling. The few things that I'm going to share with you today are 
how I derma roll, and I'm going to be doing a demonstration that's going to come up in a few minutes, how I take care of my derma roller, and how I treat my face after I've derma rolled. My derma roller is almost brand new. I, when I am done using it, I place it in a little jar of rubbing alcohol to sterilize it. And once that's done, I'll go ahead and put it right back in the case and store it in the case. There are some people, and Penn Smith is one of them, that don't use rubbing alcohol to clean their derma roller. They use, I think it's denture tablets. I haven't done the denture tablet routine simply because I haven't picked them up yet. And I probably will in the future just to see how I like it. So I'll finish derma rolling and I'll go ahead and just place my derma roller in this glass of rubbing alcohol for 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll place it back into the case and that's where it stays until my next routine. The areas of my face that I'm most interested in seeing if I can impact are actually around my mouth. I'm wanting to lessen the effect or lessen the depth or lessen the severity or whatever you want to use of my marionette lines. I have deep lines here and inside those deep creases are deep wrinkles or at least I consider them deep. I also have some lines on my upper lip and I would like to restore a little more fullness to my lips and I have read have seen or have heard of instances where derma rolling can really increase the fullness of your lips and I'm hoping that that happens for me because that's really an area I'm going to be focusing on. Although I'm derma rolling my entire face, I am really looking at more this area to see a meaningful impact. My plan right now is to derma roll three times a week and the one thing that I can tell you is it's so easy and so quick. I know there are times, particularly with my micro current device, that I hide, it's just like I kind of groan to have to do it because it does seem to take a little bit more time. Derma rolling is really quick and it's nice because you can do a little bit more thorough derma rolling or a little less thorough derma rolling and it's still impactful. So I like the fact that it's easy and quick. I can do it right in my bathroom and boom, I'm done. When I'm done with my derma rolling, I do like to put something on my face that I feel like is really going to nourish it and moisturize it because it, it does have a little bit of impact on how my skin feels. I suppose it feels a little bit tighter when I'm done. So I like to really moisturize my skin and really put some nutrients on there that I feel are gonna be really beneficial towards my skin. What I'm using now is I'm using a heptapeptide from the Inky List then I'm using my CeraVe Nighttime Moisturizer, which has niacinamides and ceramides in it. The reason it's the nighttime is because I use a separate sunscreen. And then of course, I really put on the sunscreen when I'm done derma rolling. So for me, even though I'm very, very early in the journey, I'm really excited about this. First of all, I'm really pleased with the product from Sidara. I think they do a very good job. And I'll go ahead and put links down below to their derma roller and their website as well. They did send me some vitamin C serum and a beautiful mask as well as the derma roller. I've used the vitamin C serum. I like it very much. Haven't used the mask yet, but I'm looking forward to doing that. So derma rolling for me has been an easy journey. I'm not finding any side effects that I'm, that I'm uncomfortable with, and I'm looking forward to some great changes in my skin. So let's go ahead and launch into the little routine that I will be doing with my derma rolling that's coming up next. I have a completely clean face. I just took a shower, dried my hair, and I didn't put anything on my face when I got out of the shower, just dried my skin. And I have my Sidara Derma Roller here in this nice little case. Most of the good Derma Rollers do come with a nice case, and this brand is no exception. So it has been cleaned and sterilized prior to use, and then I keep it in this little case for, you know, to keep it clean and protected. So this is what this Derma Roller looks like, and I'll have to say it, it's really nice, and I'm not... I don't think I'm like the most picky person when it comes to packaging. I mostly care about the product and I can say that this product is really designed well. It's ergonomically comfortable in your hand and this particular roller is a 2.5 millimeter roller which most dermatologists, estheticians will tell you that it's anything between 2.5 and 3 point millimeters is really where you want to stay for at home derma rolling. 
So if you're wondering, yes, I am wearing my jammies. <laughs> These are such a comfortable pair of jammies. They have long sleeves and they go down a long ways um, and onto my thighs. I think I got them at TJ Maxx several years ago. And I gave them to my daughter when I left the country for two years and then I came back and she still had them and I re-gifted them back to me because I loved them so much. So yes, I am wearing my jammies. So on to the derma rolling. I like to start at my forehead and work my way down. And the areas that I'm particularly interested in impacting with the derma rolling are mostly my lips. My lips are getting a little bit thinner as I get older, so that's really where my interest lies. It's a completely self-centered one. It's like I just want a little, you know, fuller lips. So I'm hoping that this will really impact my, you know, the, the my lips and how full they appear. Also, I have in my marionette lines here, I have sort of deep, deep little lines or wrinkles inside those. And it would be nice if I could you know, smooth that out a little bit as well. So those are mainly the things I'm going to be looking at with the derma rolling. So I start at my forehead and what I'll do is I just create a grid pattern as I go. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then I'll go the opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And if you notice, I'm not, I don't have a tight grip on the derma roller. It's just a very light grip because it's not as though we need to exert a lot of pressure as we do it. We just want it to roll gently over the skin. So one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. So I'll just go ahead and work all the way down my face and I'll kind of fast forward through this and then when we get to the lips and the marionette lines I'll slow down a little bit and talk about what I'm doing. In the areas around my eyes I do want to hit the skin up to the orbitable bone but I don't want to go beyond that. It just doesn't feel safe to me and I don't really think it's necessary. So what I'll do is I'll actually just slow way down and cover that area very slowly so that I'm making sure that I don't hit anywhere in a sensitive eye area. Around my lip area, I'm going to address both the top of my lips and then onto my lips themselves. I'm hoping to have a little bit more collagen um, headed towards that direction so my lips get a little plumper. From what I've learned, derma rolling your lips too often doesn't really help them actually plump up. It just really creates swelling and edema, which is not good in the long run. So derma rolling your lips, I think a few times a week is probably plenty. Any more than that, I'm not sure it's really beneficial. So I'm going to take the derma roller and go up on top of my lip, onto my lip area, both on the top and on the bottom, and then I'm going to pay special attention to the marionette lines that I want to address. And that's it. I think it just took a few minutes. I didn't really time this, but it really is quite an easy process. It's not too time intensive. I know that with skincare, adding one thing on top of another before you know it, you feel like you're spending half your day on your skincare. But this doesn't seem to take that much time. And I'm going to plan on doing this about three times a week for a few weeks. And then I'll check back in and talk to you about any results that I'm seeing. 
I want to thank you for joining me for this little video on derma rolling. I'm really looking forward to seeing some great results with the derma rolling and I will check back in with you guys in a couple of weeks and just let you know how it's going. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, it would be great if you could give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I want to say welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Here's to great skin and a fun-filled life. Thank you so much for stopping by. It just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. Make it a great day. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.